I'm uh, doing a vlog, obviously. Um, I don't know if you guys can even hear me that well. I have to be quiet. <laughs> I'm just trying to sleep. It's it's been a rough couple of weeks, <laughs> to say the least. Yes, I do have my retainer in. I don't I don't care. <laughs> I'm tired. Not like physically tired. Like tired of everything that I live with. Tired of judgmental, condescending mom. Tonight was just awful. <laughs> like, I dropped my phone in some water while I was hiking with my friends Nick and Jared, and I kind of need my phone. <laughs> like, it's not even technically mine. My dad bought it, and he's Type that's like, oh, I bought this, it's mine. You owe me. So, it's kind of screwed over there. And I found one that I would be able to afford. It's only like $250, which is really good for an iPhone. And as far as I know, nothing's wrong with it. It's just like used. And I have some money coming this weekend, just like from income taxes and stuff, and I'd be able to barely afford it, and I was looking at it like, I found in all my material items were becoming like an idol, I guess, and um, so I took it as like, I tried to take it as like a blessing, you know? Like, he took it away as a reminder, you know, like, watch what you're doing, make sure you don't put anything above me. Like, God, obviously, right? And, like, he knew I needed my phone, because I do, like, that's how my dad talks to me, and he gets really mad. If you can't talk to me. Especially since he bought that, and, like, I was, I was careless with it, so. I knew I need to get another one. <laughs> That's my logic. You would kind of have to live my life and know my parents. I mean, like, I'm, I'm blessed beyond belief. Like, I have a Jeep, I have an iPhone. I have all this wonderful stuff, and I'm not happy. I don't need stuff. I don't care if it was all gone. I want people. I like people. I mean, like Nick and Jared are my very best friends in the world. Especially Nick. Nick is my brother. I can tell him anything. And... Like, the time I do have with them is fantastic. But it doesn't make up for times with my mom. She's so judgmental and I feel no love coming from her whatsoever. Like I'm just this huge disappointment to her. She doesn't realize that all the stress and all the expectations is just like a burden. I promise I'm not overreacting. But like, she expects so much. She wants me to be like my other sisters and they're just perfect. They just got it all down. I mess up all the time. <laughs>
came to say that for me and I understand why I feel so much hatred coming from her. So much disappointment, I understand. I'm not this fantastic daughter. I'm not some trophy daughter. I'm not the person she wants. And like I was an accident. <laughs> I wasn't wanted, I'm still not wanted. And I take it all on myself, I'm hard on myself. I mean, Nick always tells me not to be hard on myself, but I am. I have so many issues that I need to fix. I can't talk to him about this. <laughs> One, because my phone's broken, obviously, but... Like, I, I promised Nick that I wouldn't cut ever again. <laughs> Look at that. I did that to myself. Like, I did it because of her. I did it because I know she hates who I am, and because of her, I hate who I am. I know this is really deep, and I'm really sorry, you guys. I just thought I needed to. I need to say it out loud. I need to tell someone else what is happening and why I act and feel the way I do. I don't even know if this microphone is picking up the words because of how low I'm talking. But I don't want her to wake up. I don't want her to come in here and see what I've done. Like, I'm not. I can try with everything I have in me and I have. But I'm not who she wants. I'm not. She's expecting stupid hair. Like, I really never, ever cry. This is crazy for me. I keep it in my bottle it up, and I just, I don't talk to anyone. But I need to say it. Like, I, it's not gonna make me feel better, but... And I only have nine minutes left for this thing. I don't know what to do. I mean, I don't even know why I'm posting this or even recording this right now. I guess I'm wanting feedback. I mean, if you guys have anything to say, anything that you think might help. I mean, I don't want to hear all this crap like, oh, you're worth it, you're fine, because I'm, I'm not. Don't tell me that. I'm like, I'm. I hate how I look, I hate how much I weigh, I hate the fact that I have a big nose, I hate that my dad offered me a nose job for my birthday. I hate that I have small boobs, I hate that I have big feet, I hate that I have acne, I hate that I have really big cheeks when I smile, I hate that I have this. Everything about myself I hate. I hate that I have all these scars on my legs and arms. I hate that I let her do this to me. 
I hate that I'm bleeding right now because of her. I hate that I have scars all up and down my arms and on my hips and my legs because of her. I hate that I let her do this to me. I don't know what to do. I mean, <laughs> with this whole phone thing, she's like, oh, you're making this an idol. I like for it. We do devotionals every night. And she brought her Bible in and was like, Jesus said this and this. And, like, you don't, you don't do that. If we're having an argument, you don't say, oh, Jesus did this and this. It's like, who does that? <laughs> Makes me feel like Jesus thinks I'm a failure. Probably true. <laughs> you probably want to clean that up. Stupid black thing. Okay. I hope y'all are having a lovely night. I hope that everything is working out for you. And I want you to know that you're beautiful and you deserve to be happy. And it doesn't matter who you are or how much you mess up. I mean, like, even if I barely know you, I'm proud of you for every accomplishment you ever had. It doesn't matter who you are, there's always something to be proud of. Have a fantastic night, and I hope you all have had a lovely spring break. Or if you're not already on it, have a lovely spring break. And hope you all have a lovely day tomorrow.